HIMARS eliminates large concentration of Russian military during training. Details have emerged of the HIMARS missile strike on the Russian military training area of Vostochny near Ilovysk, which killed 24 Russian military personnel. On the 24th of January, on the territory of military unit number 78528, located near the village of Pokrovka, classes were held to train soldiers in the use of UAVs. It was a kind of exam. They were transported by two buses. After the exam, the servicemen gathered near the parked UAZs and minibuses. The Russian Bichik OGPU telegram channel reported. At 14.40, a shell of the HIMARS missile system hit this cluster of military personnel and vehicles. During the strike, 22 servicemen were killed instantly. They were discovered immediately, and the bodies of two other were found later. Three Russian servicemen were hospitalized with mine blast wounds. In addition, two UAZ Patriot, one UAZ-452 and one Ford Transit were destroyed in the strike. Apparently, they were used to transport participants of the UAV training program. Russian media quoted details as saying, The sounds of explosions in Ilovysk, which is far from the front line, were reported by local blogs on the 24th of January. Russian blogger Vladimir Romanov even wrote that a missile strike on the training ground had killed the operators of the Doomsday Project, drones from the so-called Pavel Sudoplatov Battalion. At the same time, the commander allegedly sent a message to the operators in advance about the time and place of the training. Remarkably, the Russian military correspondent added, no one was hit except the UAV operators, although there were more than 150 people on the training ground. The Russians blamed Ukraine, saying the shelling came from HIMARS MLRS. At the same time, according to Russian media, there are allegedly dead and wounded Russian military personnel as a result of the shelling. According to the Russian Vazny Istori, the number is 24. The information about the strike, and specifically the drone operators, was indirectly confirmed by pro-Kremlin political analyst Alexei Chadayev, who, according to Radio Liberty, oversees programs on the Russian military's use of drones. On the pseudo Platov polygon, let's not underestimate the enemy and blame everything on the organizers. Unfortunately, the enemy is like this. Each operator, a valuable target, and many operators and instructors in one place, a very important target. Chadayev writes.